Welcome, welcome back and I need help at Cisco. In this example, you need to find the volume and the surface area of the prism below. And if you notice, the prism here has a base of a polygon with five sides. It's a pentagonal prism. The base is a pentagon. The volume will be A of the base times the height. And for that reason, let's take a look a little bit to the base, which is going to look something like this. And if you notice, they mentioned the angle E, which is this one, is a right angle. And for finding the area of this pentagon, we can break it like this. This is 10, this is 12, and this is 5. So for finding the area of this base, we're going to need this x, I'm going to call it here, and that is a right triangle. So I'm going to have a square, which is 5 square, plus b square, which is 12 square, equals c square, which is x square. 5 square is 25, 12 square is 144, equals x square. If we add 25 and 144, you get 169. So for finding x, we're just going to take the square root of 169 which is 13. So now we know this is x, this x is 13. So for finding the area of this base, I'm going to have this rectangle here, which is 13 by 10. So 13 times 10 plus this triangle you see here, which is a right triangle, and that will be 1 half times 5 times 12, because this is a right triangle, as I said. So that will be 130 plus, and we can simplify here if you want, and 5 times 6 is 30. So the area of the base, this pentagon, is 160 square units. We can go back and find the volume now. The volume is going to be this 160 times the height, which is this 14. And that will be 2,240 cubic units. And now we can move to the surface area. And if you notice, we have a formula for the surface area as the sum of the lateral area and the two bases. And the base is 160. We know that. So we have to find the lateral area of this pentagonal prism. And I'm going to start with the face that is back here. G, H, C, B. If you notice that this is 14 and this is also 10, like this one here. So it's 10 times 14. But also this face and the one up front here, F, L, D, A, are the same. So I can say 2 times the product of 10 and 14 plus, and I'm going to go to one on the left, this one, G, B, A, F. That one will be 14 times this 13 because this 13 is the same of this guy here and that is only one phase so 13 times 14 plus and now we're going to move here on the other side of this pentagonal prism this phase l k e d that one is 12 by 14 and we have one more phase which is a this one here, H, K, E, C, and that will be 14 by 5. All these faces are rectangle. So now we just need to simplify the expression. 2 times 10 times 14, that is 280. 13 times 14, that is 182. 12 times 14. That will be 168, and 14 times 5 is 70. So the lateral area will be here. 
280 plus 182 plus 168 plus 70 that will be 700 square units and now we can go and find the surface area which is this 700 the ladder area plus 2 times 160 160 is the area of the base so that will be 700 plus 320 so all together that will be 1020 square units and that's it if you enjoyed this video clip don't forget to click the like button and come back on c square for more help thank you